cults have long dominated popular culture, with notable ones serving as the foundation for some of the world's most successful blockbusters. While many people regard cults as a dangerous and weird phenomenon, there are plenty of well-known figures who grew up in and later joined them. Below is a look at celebrities who were born into communes formed by their parents, as well as those who founded the organization themselves. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today, we are going to talk about top 10 celebrities who were or are currently part of a cult. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 10. Allison Mack If you needed confirmation that not every cult sprung from a hallucinogenic 60s and 70s, look no further than our next unsettling entry. Allison Mack, a former Smallville actress, was one of several actors linked to a scary cult, including her co-stars Kristen Kruk and Grace Park of Battlestar Galactica. Mack was arrested in 2018 on allegations of sex trafficking for the organization, which involved recruiting young women for the cult's founder, Keith Rainier. Number 9. James Hetfield Contrary to popular opinion, not all heavy metal lyrics involve hellfire, brimstone, or the devil. Metal bands often use their harsh music to address severe human difficulties. James Hetfield of Metallica wrote Dyer's Eve from his childhood resentment and bitterness toward his parents. His strict Christian scientist parents thought that prayer and faith, not modern medicine, should treat illness. After James' mother, Cynthia, died of cancer as a youngster, the front man was inspired for years. Number 8. R. Kelly The fact that R. Kelly is accused of racketeering, which is defined as an organized plot to profit from crime, in this case, the accumulation of a harem of young women through abuse and coercion is probably not something you are aware of. However, you can be sure that you are aware that R. Kelly is a criminally grossed individual. The strategies that he used to run his sex cult are remarkably similar to those that are used by other cult leaders who are not as well known as Grammys. These methods include recruitment, isolation, surveillance, and threats. Number 7. Val Kilmer, speaking of Christian science, the next star on our list is anything but angry about his belief in this contentious religion, even to the point of jeopardizing his own health. Val Kilmer was a sensation in the 1980s and 1990s, a gorgeous and charming actor who routinely gave stunning performances in films like Tom Stone, Heat, and Willow. However, Kilmer's devotion to Christian science has reportedly enraged his family, who believe that a lack of competent medical treatment for a throat tumor has resulted in unnecessary physical suffering for the former Bruce Wayne. Number 6. Glenn Close Glenn Close and her family participated in the moral rearmament movement as children, and she told The Hollywood Reporter, as reported by Now to Love, that it had a significant impact on her early years. You basically weren't allowed to do anything, or you were made to feel guilty about any unnatural desire, she told me. If you talk to anybody who is in a group that basically dictates how you're supposed to live, what you're supposed to say, and how you're supposed to feel, from the time you're 7 until the time you're 22, it has a profound impact on you. Number 5. Kira Maguire Woman's Day revealed Maguire's first five years in a polygamist cult after her 2016 bachelor appearance. In the 1970s, her father created the Seaside Sect. Maguire had 64 offspring with nine wives, including his mother. Kira broke down on the project. I didn't know who my mom was until I was five. I had no birthdays, which seems odd. I probably had my first birthday at seven. It may be sad for others. It's my tale, so no. Number four, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson isn't just Catholic. He's the most Catholic it's possible to be to the point where even Catholics weren't Catholic enough for him, driving him to found his own church, which the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Los Angeles, you know, the Catholics, refuses to acknowledge. The private church is relatively clandestine. Number three, Rose McGowan. 
Our following entry has the first reference to the Children of God cult, but it will not be the last. Rose McGowan grew up as a member of this religious cult, which rose in popularity throughout the 1960s. Rose's father managed an organization chapter in Italy, a commune-like existence notable for its embrace of polygamy and sexual grooming of young girls for male service. McGowan and her father eventually escaped from the Children of God, but the organization still operates today under the name The Family International. Number 2. Andrew Keegan On the other side, Andrew Keegan is the head of his very own cult, complete with its very own temple in California and everything else under the sun. Their beliefs are hazy, and they rely heavily on crystals and illegal kombucha. However, one thing that all of the members of the inner circle can agree on is that Keegan has a talent for attracting and enlightening followers thanks to his vortex of vibes, which is hippie for big dick energy. Number 1. Joaquin Phoenix Joaquin Phoenix, River, Rain, Liberty, and Summer were reared in the Children of God, a sect known for forcing members to give up money and outside contact. Joaquin told Playboy, Per Marie Claire. I think my parents thought they'd found a community that shared their ideals after his parents left soon after he was born. Cults rarely promote themselves. Someone frequently says, we're like-minded. This is a community, but my folks left when they realized there was more. That's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.